for myself I was like at one time I was will she be able to interact with my kids if my kids get to know she's like this but then she has got so much love for my kids she's just like a mother she's just like me the love that I give them is the same love that she gives them but I, so that helped me a lot to overcome the fears of uh, her being an outcast I just had to accept and say no this is my mother's child if no one is going to accept it, I'll accept it and that may help me overcome the fears I don't even think it's a, they've really come to terms with it they have accepted it it's something they can't control something they just don't know what to do about um my mom mm, she went crazy for some time she, she I, that was like uh, my worst fear <laughs> my mom because uh, my mom would be when i actually when i got to know of this i actually told her mama should never know about this this is one thing that would really take you down to a grave <laughs> because I, I i was scared of her you know how it is the generation and our generation and to think my mom never lived in that world uh, that is uh, similar to us i was scared for my mom i didn't think she would take it well i thought maybe this one thing would just kill her but well she's managing yeah, yeah she's managing because when then she found out about it and she called me yeah, your sister is doing uh, I was like, hey, no, she's one and yeah, and the Arab was something had happened, you know, and then she just, I think she had just, she was just sick and tired of being in the closet. She then said to my mom, yeah, do she, you have to accept me like that, just like that. And, uh, <laughs> you know, you comfort them in a way they, you have to see you are, you are supporting them in whatever they see it but you know with time they will just accept it i'm sure they are getting by but uh, it's just the effect this limited yeah but it's a choice she can't have kids she doesn't want to